All right, so we already looked at adding a positive and a negative. So now we're going to look at what we want to do if we want to add a negative to a negative. So let's say I wanted to do negative 8 plus negative 7. Now I know some arithmetic, I know some math, so I could put 8 and 7 together in all kinds of different ways, positive and negative. I could think to myself, I could guess, which you don't want to guess, but I could guess, well, what if it's 15? Is it 15? Is it negative 15? Is it 1? Is it negative 1? It's some kind of a combination of 8 and 7. It could be negative, it could be positive, but I should not and will not guess. So instead, I need to figure out what I need to do when I have a negative added to another negative. Well, like we saw in the uh, previous lesson when we did a positive plus a negative, we know that adding a negative really means subtracting. Let me say that again. Adding a negative means subtracting. So what I can do is I can take this plus a negative here that I have going on between the 8 and the 7, the negative 8 and the 7, and I make it negative 8 minus 7. You see that plus a negative and minus mean the same thing. Then I take that and I use my trusty handy number line, my crooked number line, and I mark a zero somewhere on here. And I say, okay, well, I start at negative 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's negative 8. And from there, I see a minus. Well, I know that now that I have it simplified, my, I have it just minus. Minus means go to the left. So I'm going to take that minus 7, and I'm going to go left 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. And if I count negative 8 and I go out this far 7 more, I can see that that puts me at negative 15. So negative 8 plus negative 7, which is really negative 8 minus 7, is equal to negative 15. All right, so let's try a few examples. Uh, Let's try them without the number line, just understanding which direction to go. Uh, let's say we have negative 3 plus negative 9. Well, we know that that's negative 3 minus 9, so I start at negative 3, go back 9, and that puts me at negative 12. How about negative 6 plus negative 4? Well, negative 6 minus 4, again, negative 6 is your starting point, and from there you go back 4, left 4, and that puts me at negative 10. How about if I said 7 plus negative 8? Now, this is from the previous video, but let's take a look at it anyway. I still do the same process, right? I say... I start at 7, and then plus a negative means minus 8. I start at 7, go left 8. It puts me at negative 1. 